Hi everyone, welcome back. Now that we've had a quick introduction to Shopify, it's time to actually start our free trial and get ourselves registered for our business. So I'm gonna click on free trial and here we go. So we're gonna start a, uh, every Shopify account uh, store starts with a free 14 day trial. So what you wanna do here is just fill out your information, uh, create a password, um, and your store name. So if you are operating a um, already existing store and uh, you're simply adding an e-commerce um, addition to that, you can put that in here. Or if you have a brand or a product or something like that that you're looking to sell, uh, put it here. For this example, I decided that I'm going to create kind of like a coffee uh, accessory website. And so I'm going to go with um, coffee... Um, Canada. Okay, so I'm here in Canada and uh, just again for this example I'm gonna go with Coffee Canada as my store name. So I would probably potentially target maybe just businesses or people that are in uh, Canada. Uh, so I am kind of limiting myself with this store name. Um, but again it's just for this course. Uh, I'm not actually building this whole uh, store because uh, I actually don't have any coffee products to sell currently. Uh, I've looked into it in the past, but I don't have anything right now. But anyway, uh, store name right now, Coffee Canada. So we're going to create our store. Okay, we're sitting tight. We're creating our store. Uh, sure, we'll save that. Applying store settings. Okay, so your store is ready to go. So once you've registered that, uh, you come up. Tell us a little bit about yourself. So um, even if you are starting out, uh, and you haven't already sold anything um, ever before, I would um, maybe either say I'm selling with a different system or I'm selling just not online. So I'm going to go selling with a different system and what different system to use the most. I'm just going to say uh, Amazon because basically if you're selling products, you are almost always on Amazon. And while you're creating a store, I want to start a new business or I want to move my existing business to Shopify. And... Um, I don't know if this is serious or not, but if you put, uh, you know, anything but just getting started, maybe Shopify will take you more seriously. So I'm going to say that we are doing business in the 250000 to a million range. And uh, are you setting this up for a uh, store for a client? Uh, I'm going to click, I'm going to leave that box unclicked. Um, and I can go next, or you can skip this section if you want. It doesn't matter, but I'm going to go next anyway. Uh, so I'm going to add an address where you can get paid, and this is just my uh, home. Okay, so I've entered my store, I've entered all that information, and basically you are going to be directed to your dashboard. And so when you get to your dashboard, this is the first page that you see. And uh, here you see your trials just started, you can select a plan, and uh, I'll just quickly show you what kind of plans are available for you, for your business. But again, you are on a 14 day trial. Um, so pick a plan to use when your free trial ends. So you can do the basic Shopify for $29 a month. Uh, you have your kind of standard Shopify, $79 a month. And if you're doing a lot of business um, with Shopify, you'll want to do the, uh, the largest advanced Shopify um, option. So those are just your uh, basic uh, plans with Shopify and you can see that some things are uh, get a little better as, as far as going along what you get when you pay for things you know like for example your domestic charges for your credit cards at the basic plan are 2.9 percent plus 30 cents per transaction when you go to your advanced Shopify and you're doing a lot of transactions well that you know that 0.5 percent will really add up uh, you know as far as your fees that you're saving by going to an advanced uh, plan. But anyway, that is for, again, after your free trial ends, and we have 14 days to complete our, or try this uh, pro software out. So anyway, that's, again, this is your dashboard. And now that we're in and we've registered our business, let's take a look at some of the first things that we should do now that we're in our dashboard. Uh, and specifically, we're going to take a look at creating and changing the theme of our store so it's a little bit more user friendly and a little bit easier to use and get up and running quickly. So that's coming up in the next lecture.